Attention, Brad Warriors. Are you ready to join Time Patrol? I mean, I haven't done a Xenoverse video in so long. And I noticed that one person in my comments was always like, day like 100 asking for a Xenoverse video. <sighs> maybe. Maybe. You know what? If, if I get enough feedback riled, uh, riled out around that, riled, is that even a word? If I get enough feedback around that, I, I might consider it. But every single time I come back to Xenoverse, all that really does is makes me want to play Fighters, which is, in my opinion, is the better game. Like, Xenoverse is fun, but like, I don't know. But Saturday means one thing for you guys, and that means summon Saturday, and we're hopping on this banner. Now, part of me really wants to hop into one of these two and try to get the go tanks in the boo. And honestly, I've went deep enough on this banner. I think I summoned three times on and got nothing. Zilch, zero, nada. You get nothing. Pull the good old fashioned rhyme luck, uh, rhyme shaft on those. So I think honestly, the next time these guys come around Baba Shop, I'm just gonna buy them because honestly, pulling for these two isn't as hype. I mean, they're cool. They got some crazy animations, but I just. I'd rather go for something that's more collectible, and of course, what screens more collectability than LRs? I am missing two LRs still. I'm missing the Rosé, and I'm missing the uh, Broly, 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 Lilo, Limo, and Chilai. Wow, I put all the words in, uh, into one word. And I would love to pull that still. I do have the Super Saiyan God Goku, which uh, I ended up buying from the Baba Shop a while back, but the other two still don't have. And of course, the second they pop in the Baba Shop, I'm probably gonna buy them because I still have enough credit to get at least one, I wanna say. But if you pull them on camera, that'll be even better. But before we start, I feel like I have to sponsor myself again because that worked out really last time. How about this? Let's do something different this time. I'm going to show you a secret clip from the upcoming video from a Mario series on Monday, right now. Okay, and then up. Do I gotta figure out, oh, there's a laser too? Why? Okay. Does this, how long does this last? All right, that was a small preview. That was a small preview. And again, the Mario series is released every single Monday. If you wanna check it out, just tune in 12 o'clock PST. Uh, you guys can make me levels. I rage, we upload it, it's a good time. It's, it's one of my most favorite things I've done on YouTube so far, which is why I keep pushing it uh, in, in these videos right now, because it's just a lot of fun. Okay, here we go. Ugh. I sponsored myself. It wasn't like a full sponsorship like last time, but this should work, right? You would think that this is gonna work. Let's see how this works out. So we got Boo, all right? At some point he must've just dropped Hercule, so that's that's not the best sign, but that's okay because as you guys always know, the this, this strategy and the art form to summoning in Dokkan is the second half of the video is always fire. It's gonna be fire, trust me on this. So once we get to that, it'll be, it'll, it'll be like where the hype pulls are. And in fact, I'm gonna just call it. I'm gonna pull the rosé in today's video. I'll pull the rosé in today's video. I'm actually really curious to see what, what's gonna happen next in both games. Obviously, global. By the way, if you play global, for love of God, save all your dragon stones. I know they just got the Majin, Vegeta, and Goku on global, which are great units. But the five-year anniversary is literally like right around the corner, and it's going to be nutty. So you want to be able to go for the the fusions when those come out. And comment section below, actually, I actually might toss out this question as well between Gogeta and Vegito Blue. Which one do you want more and why? Let me know down below. I'm biased. I'm Team Gogeta. I think that card is way cooler. But Vegito, I think, as much as it hurts me to say this, I think Vegito might be just a smidge better as a card and overall, like the abilities that he has. But I don't know. Team Gogeta for me all day, every day. On top of that, I think the card even looks better. So yeah, let me know down below which one you want the most, and hopefully uh, the the blessings will be upon you whenever the five year anniversary comes out. All right, ready? Three, two, one. LR. <sighs> For a second, dog. I will never not get faked out by that. Oh my god, because I see this beer so infrequently. So when I see a beer pop up, that's not the one with his hands in the air. It, I, I see this and I'm like, dog. And I know you guys are probably getting annoyed at this point because this happens with Nano as well. Nano pulls his beers every single time he does the. Because it's like, it's the first reaction. And then you realize, oh, it's that one. Dope. But you know what? Give me Beerus is iconic, so I'll take that. All right, let's go ahead and hop into the next one. Here we go. Okay, we got five more left. One of these is about to be flames, like, right now. Yo, speaking of Beerus, I just summoned Beerus, and he showed up straight in my animation. My man's really just popped up. So if I get the Beerus animation right now, would that be uh, a guaranteed go freeze? We're not going to get that. <laughs> We're not going to get that. But yeah, like... Can you can you get the new animations on older banners? Cause like looking at like Legends, I don't know if Legends ever does that too. Where like if they re-release a banner, I don't know if you can actually get the. At least from my experience, I've never really seen those. Nor do I really summon on older banners like that. But I've never actually seen uh, the Bardock and, and Goku animation as well as the Trunks animation pop up on older banners. So I don't know how that works. So can you get like Zeno and stuff on on like older banners like this? If so, let me know down below. But okay, 
We got 18 and 18. How about one more rare 18? Rare 18? No, we got trunks. But I, at least we kick it off with an SSR 18, which is kind of nice. Actually, it's funny. I think I just 100% of that, that 18 the other day. So it's funny seeing uh, now it's in useless status. I hate having so many SSRs. They just sit and like, yeah, I can buy with them or just sell them in the shop. But honestly, like, I feel like the second I do that, they're going to release another version of that card and I could use those for super attacks. So I, I just kind of end up stockpiling my SSRs. You know what? This is a fun question. In the comments, which character do you have stockpiled the most in your game? Because I feel like a lot of you guys have that one card that just keeps popping up on your summons. For example, for me, it's the, the Saiyan, Saga Goku, Saiyan Saga Goku and Vegeta, which pop up so much. Uh, but what is that for you? Let me know down below. And let's see where you guys stand and if you guys hoard it as much as I do or if you just end up selling it. Is this the GSSR? I think it might be. Oh, it's more. Yo, look at that. Yo, that was kind of a fire multi action now that I think about it. And we got Nail. I already got, uh, this is going to be my third copy now, Nail. So I'll be able to get the top right path. I already got top left and bottom, uh, bottom up already done. So I'll take that. That's definitely a win. Here we go. Hop into the next one. We still got four more tries. Four more tries. Give me some heat. Dokkan, give me some heat. There's nobody that I want to swing more at than Yamcha. I see Yamcha pop my summons. I just get angry. I feel like petition to make... I was about to say, Super Saiyan God. Yamcha's out here actually giving me something good. Petition to make Yamcha by himself a a, uh, a pair. That should be... You know what they should do, actually? They should do Yamcha on Poir. When you get Yamcha on Poir, at least then you can kind of get some excitement knowing that you're about to pull some fire. Um, but if they have something like that, it's a lot better than seeing Yamcha just ruin your summons. And I do also want to point out, Yamcha doesn't actually confirm to ruin your summons. It's just my opinion. Every time I've seen him pop up, I get these guys. I want to actually get some heat. But then again, every now and then you get that fire Yamcha animation where something like this happens right here. No, just kidding. It's another 18 back to back to back. And 17. And how about now we got some fire. No, we just got the real curl, which is exactly what I want to see. And actually, I can use that Goku. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Surprisingly, there's still cards like that that I don't have fully maxed out because um, what I end up doing is is I'll get the, the attack panels open up, but if I don't actually really use those cards, I don't have the super attacks up. So in a situation like this Goku, I have him at 100%, uh, at least the panels open. He's, he's, I think he's still like 60%, I don't have him fully maxed out. But I had the super attack still on like one or two or something like that, so I gotta still max those up, but yeah. Alright, let's hop to the next one. We have three more tries. Three more tries for redemption. Redemption, second half of the video. All right, 17 did not want to show up for that one. So I guess we can safely say me sponsoring myself doesn't always work. Doesn't always work unless... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got three chances for some fire. We got three chances of fire. And you know what? Even if I end up pulling the, the go freeze, I'm happy because I only have that 79%. I think last time I pulled it, I thought that was going to be my last copy, but boy, was I wrong. I was only like 69% of the time. So if I pull one more, we're talking about a 90% go freeze, which is awesome. So I'm all for that. So if I end up getting that, then the sponsorship rule still works and it applies. And I challenge you guys to sponsor yourself before you do summons. It works 100% of the times when it works. That doesn't make any sense, but it makes sense in this video. Uh, oh great, Bergamo. I didn't, I don't know if I have, um, um, I don't think I've done anything with that Bergamo yet. I know he's good, and I know Global got him a while back before JP did, so I, by the time he came to JP, I just kind of, like, didn't really do anything with him, but I know Bergamo's actually really, really good. Okay, let's see what else we got. It's gonna just be, probably a triple, right? It's gonna probably just be a triple. Triple? Yeah, just a triple. All right, that's, that's, that's what we got the animation for. At least we got an animation, so I can't complain. All right, let's hop in. Here we go. Number, what, Five, five of the six that I'm doing. And we got Yamcha again with Piccolo. Yo, this multi-summon, these set of multi-summons are setting themselves up for failure. I just have Nano fly out here for me and just press the sum button for me and see how that works out. Because when I do it, it don't be working out. Sometimes, sometimes. I gotta say, you know, it's been pretty fired the last couple weeks, so I can't complain. It's like, when I have heat, you know, like this every now and then, when I get shafted, maybe like a couple of years later, I'm, I'm okay with it. I mean, it hurts, but it's not as bad knowing that I just pulled two Nappas, for example. You know what? And honestly, if we're talking about luck, I got to show you something real fast as, as we finish this multi sum. Well, for stars, we have, you know, these right here. Throws Kiva Pokemon. This is Neo Genesis. This is like one of the rare sets you can get. Uh, but Throws Kiva my Pokemon channel, which I do have a Pokemon channel, and it's linked in the description of all my videos. Um, I recently got my hands. Let me finish this multi sum real fast so I can show you these, this goodness right here. This is, the, this is the holy grail right here. Unless we get an LR right now. No, we do not. Okay. 
I got these right here. I'm gonna zoom in on myself. These are first edition Shadowless packs. These are like the holy grail of Pokemon. This is the very first pack. In this set, there is a, if you get it graded as a perfect PSA 10, uh, which this is a graded card right here. You know, basically you, you send it in and then uh, professionals tell you what the grade is out of a 10. Um, if you happen to pull the Charizard from this set, from the very first edition set, as you can see, they've got the first edition stamp right here. It is worth $55,000. Now, when I bought these, these are very expensive packs. When I bought these, my friend was doing actually a box break on his channel and uh, no Charizard was pulled yet. There was no Charizard pulled yet, and I think at the time of him finishing the video, he sold 10 packs off camera, uh, which he did on camera, but I'm talking, like, he opened, like, 22 packs on camera. There was no Charizard pulled, and there were three hollows left. So that means there is a one in three chance that there might be a Charizard in one of those two packs, that the $55,000 one. So I'm going to go ahead and open that on my channel, my second channel, at some point in the next couple weeks. Got to build up the courage first. But, yeah, I did check it out. One pack is definitely heavy, and if it ends up having the Charizard... It's gonna be hype and i'd rather have all my luck going to that than something like this speaking of luck we're gonna end it with one more fire multi watch this here we go again if you want to check out my pokemon channel where i open pokemon and Yu Gi Oh stuff then it's linked in the description below and you can just subscribe over there i don't upload every single day just because you know my main channel is always going about my big focus but i do try to upload a lot over there when i do openings especially when we do stuff like this can we get can we not get a super saiyan god animation that would have been nice that would have been real nice let me actually put this away so it's it's safe and ready to be open at some point. But the last multi. Let's see what kind of garbage we're gonna get. It's fine. We're gonna just hold the luck back. So all the luck and shine in that video. Let's see what happens here. A lot of androids. A lot of androids and chichis. It's literally what I love to see and stuff like this. And Yamchas as well, because you know, why not? We got literally nothing. We're gonna end it on nothing but sadness and depression in the metal cooler. Great. Now, what are the chances that, you know, we just do one of these real fast? Let's see what happens. For all you know, this could be fire. Fire? No. Hold on. Nope, it's trash. Unless it just screen cracks. I remember the last time I did a single summon and it was fire. Nah, it's trash. Okay, whatever. We'll end it at that. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed today's Summon Saturday video. Again, check out the Mario series. Uh, you got some sneak preview of the next episode, which is coming out Monday in this video. But otherwise, stay tuned for more awesome content. Again, let me know in the comment section below which uh, year five units you're more excited for more and why. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching. My name is Rhymesaw. I pull Videl. And I'll see you in the next video.